Likewise, New York's wholesale trade calls upon all parts of America and the world for supplies. Eggs from the Middle West, citrus fruit from Florida and California, vegetables from the South and New England to feed the people of New York and the people of other countries. It is one of the greatest manufacturing and processing areas of the nation. The nation's foremost center of culture, a city of museums. And a city possessing hundreds of acres of public parks for the rest, relaxation, and health of its millions of residents and thousands of annual visitors. Best known is Central Park in the borough of Manhattan, with its zoo, its playgrounds, miles of shaded walks and drives, and its restful lakes. New York with the most complex municipal school system in the world, with churches of every denomination, with homes of variated pattern ranging block by block along miles of streets, avenues, and boulevards. with multi-storied hotels to welcome business visitors and tourists. It's tall buildings housing international and national communication systems. It's thousands upon thousands of young people who tomorrow, like their parents before them, will continue to create a great story, the story of a great city, the city of New York. Okay, that was the story of New York. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll have a brand new episode next Monday at 11 a.m. So until then, I'm Jeremy Scott. You're watching Retro Americana, and we'll see you next week.